Hi YouTubers and YouTubies, it's Michelle. <sighs> Today I did not hit 20 rounds. I started off um, walking and when I did my my right leg, my right thigh had this tremendous pain in it that was like in the bone and it was in my hip and it, it was in it, and it shot down to my knee now my back always hurts because I have sciatica so I have a pinched nerve or a degenerative disc disease or something that's in there that's causing pain in my in my lower lumbar region of my back and today we're supposed to be getting a little bit of rain so there's a little bit of moisture in the air and um, and it's going to be sporadic, so it might not actually hit my house. It's going to be all over, but but there's moisture in the air. The clouds are reflecting that at this point. But I think that that's what that was, was that um, my body was um, reacting to the to the moisture in the air. I'm also not doing any um, acetaminophen. It was not ibuprofen, acetaminophen. Those of us with gastric surgeries have to stay away from any non-approved pain medicines because... Uh, the, the pill can drop into our stomach and as it's dissolving create an ulcer which would cause us problems I don't do any ibuprofen I don't do any aspirin except for baby aspirin for the stent in my heart um, I do acetaminophen for everything that's what that bottle was that I showed you before it's acetaminophen right there. I don't know if I can get it where you can actually see that that says that. But it's acetaminophen. It's not ibuprofen. Ibuprofen became the word back in the day when uh, my generation heard that you shouldn't be giving aspirin to children because it would cause some, <coughs> excuse me, some stuff to happen with them. So uh, ibuprofen became the next big drug on the market and it was like aspirin free. It was always toted as aspirin free, non-aspirin. And um, as as time has gone on, because of Walmart and stuff, I just pick up a generic pain reliever, 500 milligrams or more, and it just happens to be an acetaminophen, which is non-ibuprofen, non-aspirin. I haven't had any of that since Thursday of last week. I, I went Friday fine, all weekend fine, of course. I wasn't doing them. Um, and Monday, fine. And then today, back is killing me. And that uh, pain in my leg hurt really bad for five rounds around my church. It was I don't know. I don't know why she does that. Cat. My fish tank is not your fish tank. My fish does not belong to you. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Just sit still. Just sit still. Just sit still. There you go. Anyway, um, today all of a sudden there was that pain again and I feel real stiff. So I'm thinking it's because of the weather. And nothing else. But I did not meet my goal today. I didn't make the 20 rounds. I made... Um, Seventeen. I had three more to go. So eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Yeah, three more to go before I'd get to my twentieth round. And um, and the kids came out, and that, and that was because of the, the the slow time that it took me with the pain to go those five rounds at the start. So I have to set my goal back one day for the 10 days in a row which will now kick it to Monday of the next week if I can actually do it before I can get my reward for doing 10 days or two weeks 20 times around the building each time to get those weights I'm gonna walk with. Now I could use soup cans if I wanted to I'm sorry I'm really tired I didn't go to bed until midnight and I got up at I was up before my husband was up, so it was somewhere like 4:30. Um, I'm, I'm tired. 
Sylvia's not helping me at all either because she's just like in the way. She's interested in this fish. She's been around this fish for months now. I got this fish, okay, six months because I got this fish right after my surgery. Um, I have a beta fish. She's been around the fish for six months and now all of a sudden because I moved the tank <laughs> to, to on my desk instead of beside my desk. She's curious about the fish. She's got to look at the fish. And he was visible the whole time. So I don't I don't get it. Anyway, she's decided she wants to, to lay down and rest and then say hello to my fans. She's a very good kitty. She's a very sweet kitty. But she's an annoying kitty. She she ha she has her days. <laughs> so anyway, I have to um postpone my thing for a day. I am exhausted. I mean, I am so tired. <sighs> I also weighed myself this morning when I took my shower, and I was up two pounds, which I... I still think that I'm down the two extra pounds, because I still have food in my system from last night. Um, and... And it could be some muscle gain. I don't know. I don't know. It said I weighed 259. At least it's not 260. <laughs> you know, I can, I'll plateau and I'll sit at that plateau for a long time. That one number for a long time. I have, I have yet to really bounce above it and remain above it. I mean, I'll go up and down and up and down and up and down and I might go above it, but I eventually come back down again. So I'm not, I hadn't hit 260 yet since I lost the 260, which was, um, when was it? Last week? The end of last week or? Sunday or I don't remember anymore. It all runs together anymore. And I'm so tired too. Um, anyway, YouTubers and YouTubies, that's my update for today. My little walk did not execute 20 rounds, but that was because of pain and I cannot count that. I cannot cheat and say, well, had I not had the pain, then I'm, I probably would have made 20 rounds. It's true. I probably would have, but that's cheating. I cannot give myself, what is it so good? You were in my arms just now. I don't understand. Here she goes. She's getting ready to walk in front. She wants to lay down. And I'm not laying back in my chair. So she's having issues. Uh, anyway, I can't lie and say, well, I did 20. I mean, I'm the only one that would know that. I'm the only one who would pay attention to the fact that I did 20. And I could certainly lie, but it defeats the purpose of actually doing the 20. The 20 means I've pushed myself. The 20 means that I've actually sweated, that I've burned those calories. And I can move beyond the 20 to whatever I can match in that number. My husband says that I'm I'm doing 20 in 45 minutes. So I don't know what that... 20 minutes is an, on an average walking, just average walking, you can do a mile in 20 minutes. And I'm doing... 20 rounds and 8 rounds is, is a mile. So 16, 17. So it's like 2 and a half. I, I'm doing a little bit more than 2 and a half miles in 45 minutes. If I'm given that extra 15 minutes to make that a full hour, that's probably 7 more rounds if I really wanted it to be. Uh, I guess. I don't know. Somebody with math needs to do that. Okay, so eight times around my building is two and a half miles. It's really two and seven, seven, two and seven eighths or whatever, three fourths. And two and three fourths, so four times around a square. So you got three of them makes two, two miles and then I guess three fourths of a mile. So I don't know. Anyway, eight times is a, eight times is two and three fourths miles. So I round it up to eight. Eight times makes two miles. And I can go 20 times around that building. So that's two and a half, two and a half miles. So if I'm doing that in 45 minutes, figure out what that, that would be if you add on that extra 15. I'm no good at math. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> that's a lot of work for my brain. Math was never my strong suit. I'm sorry. I'm a brilliant person. I'm super smart. I'm not going to lie about that, but math is not my ticket. If I would, if anything depended on math and me, we better just hang it up because it, it's not going to happen. As a matter of fact, yesterday with Callista, 
I couldn't even remember how many I couldn't remember which time I what was the number of that poll that we hit and that was after I'd started up with her because I was talking so I mean numbers is not my thing and when I get to 10 on my poll I've said this on another video when I get to 10 I have to do 10 and count down I can't count up because I start to lose it after about 12 or 13 this is a number I can't go okay I'm trying to get to 15 and then I'm trying to get to 20 I can't do it uh, my brain just fries out so numbers are not my thing so I don't know how, how much I could actually execute in an hour at eight eight times around the building being two and a half two and a half miles um, other than that youtubers and youtubies um, still got my peers here see I have to turn them every single day every day I turn them all the time while he's touching them can't wait for six weeks to be done so I can wear my awesome funky monkey earrings nails in I can't wait for that anyway youtubers and youtubies do what you can do what you can and then tell yourself if you did this much that you could do a little bit more tomorrow and when you get to tomorrow and you actually hit that goal say you could do a little bit more the next day and then try to reach that goal too it's really about small steps the whole way it's not about making these big fat leaps and jumps or anything like that it's just small steps it's it's about not killing yourself it's about enjoying the trip uh, taking your time burning the calories um, life is meant to be enjoyed so even though I hate the exercise I make it something that is fun and I listen to my music and um, that makes a difference for me if you like dancing then Zumba if you like to jog then jog you know jog at a certain time of day where you get to see the sunrise or the sunset or whatever it is <laughs> seriously Seriously? <laughs> what? She wants... She is a diva. I'm telling you. She is a diva. She just comes in and thinks she runs this show. <laughs> anyway, Sylvia says, Meow, bye, Facebookers and YouTubers and YouTubies. I say bye. Have a great day. Do what you can.